The November election is only months away and qualifiers have been announced on ballots. But for San Landry Parish, there's one race that sticks out and that's Justice for the Peace of District 12. I'm Paris Flanagan, your San Landry Parish reporter. And for that race, it remains vacant ahead of the election. No one qualifying for that race. I spoke to the last person to sit in that seat for Justice of the Peace and they tell me why no one is qualifying for it. And it could come down to pay and the requirements for the job. Uh, the last person that held it was um, Angelia Gillery. I did not do any uh, paperwork or any litigations for the seat. Um, there was training involved that you had to complete first and I started the training and then realized that it would be a conflict with my job. Guillory resigned from the position late last year. An opinion from the Attorney General's office citing the elected seat will be a conflict of interest with her existing job as Executive Director for the Eunice Housing Authority. Before her tenure, Larry Dale LaFleur held the spot for two decades until he passed away in 2022. And no one qualified this last cycle. For quite some time, the seat sat vacant, and now it's on the ballot without any candidates for the November election. We sat down with the parish clerk of court, Charles Jagno, to look into why no one signed up to qualify for the spot. But the problem is if the districts were larger, then a JP could almost have a full-time job. because The parish is made up of 13 districts, and Jagno says there are smaller districts, limiting the number of civil cases that may come into the courtroom versus in a bigger city. With each civil case, the Justice of the Peace can earn legal fees on top of state and parish pay. For District 12, however, the starting pay for this elected position is less than $500 per month. But if the districts are too small and doesn't have much population, doesn't have much activity, then they, they don't have enough business, so to speak, to make it uh, worthwhile to, to spend that time doing it. I don't think anybody's going to qualify for the position. Um, it's very uh, involved. Uh, there would be a lot of paperwork as far as evictions and uh, small claims procedures. And the pay does not uh, match the job. Now, I did speak to a spokesperson for the Secretary of State, and they tell me that the process that has to follow through with this is that the governor will have to call for a special election, and then qualifying will reopen, but there's no word on when that special election will take place. Reporting in St. Landry Parish, I'm Paris Flanagan, KUTC TV3.